this is Billy's place. Doesn't look like much, I know, and he's slightly oversold the whole fastest deliveries angle, but it's got real potential with you on board as a partner. You up for this? You wait until Billy hears about this. He'll actually be able to deliver things quickly now. Right, here's a scoop. Express Delivery is the quickest and slickest delivery service going around, and Billy Stokes can get anything, anytime, anywhere in the UK. But what I can't do is build a website. So, I got my mate Alfie to do it, and he's gone and put a special instructions box under the delivery address. Now, these Horizon people are writing all sorts of stuff in there. So what I need is a Horizon driver. We'll start you off simple, but careful with the van, yeah? She's precious to me. Not bad, not bad. You passed the first test. You can get from A to B. As soon as I can figure the next delivery, I'll give you a call. Hello again. Now, remember I told you about this whole special instructions palaver? Well, we've got a special set of instructions on this next one. Listen to this. Keep well ventilated, handle with extreme care, and don't worry if it quacks a bit. I'm gonna check our live animal policy. You just watch how you go. Hello? Yeah, it's Billy from Express Delivery. So this package of yours? Oh yeah, we'll take best care of it, but there's no actual ducks in there, is there? Where'd you get a box of ducks from? Right, so apparently they're very rare and expensive Uzbekistani ducks on their way to an ornamental pond. But they get cranky easily, so don't bump them around. Almost there. Easy little duckies, just take it easy now. Another satisfied express delivery customer. They're happy, you're happy, and me? I'm as happy as a duck in water, mate. Where else would I be? Ever heard of Sir Strumming? It's a funny kind of Swedish fish. And my Swedish mate Niels can't get enough of the stuff. So you're going to deliver him some. Not so much of a rush this time because it's already fermented, but you might want to take care not to hit anything. And if you do, you might want to try breathing through your mouth. Neil's address is in the sat-nav. Now off you go. Neil's told me to take a tin and have a taste for myself. Suppose I'd better see what all the fuss is about, hadn't I? Uh, uh. What is that? Why would anyone eat that? <laughs> I looked it up on the internet, searched for why does anyone eat stink fish. I still have no idea. I did learn that you should open the cans underwater. And that's a warning sign right there. There we go. Enjoy your sister strumming, Nils, old mate. No, really, enjoy every bit of it, cos I don't ever want to see that weird fish again in my life. Right, so I've got good news and bad news. Bad news is my mate Nils moved house and gave us the wrong address. So last time we managed to deliver a big box of stinky fish to Mr and Mrs Arthur Didcot, who were understandably perplexed by the whole affair. But the good news is, Neil's new place ain't far away. So put your gas mask on, and let's get this over with. 
Just do it as quick as you can, yeah? Stick to the road or go cross-country, I'll leave it up to you. You're the one who has to smell it. Blimey, thank goodness that's done. I'll have to get Nils off the uh, strumming and into some nice British delicacies, you know? Things everyone can enjoy, like black pudding and jelly deals. All right. Didn't expect to see you back after the old smelly fish saga. But I'm glad you're here. You're an increasingly important part of my business plan. So, what have we got next in the special instructions box? Need help with delivery slash demolition job. What could possibly go wrong, eh? Hang on, I'll read the rest of the instructions. Local council requests help clearing roadway. Money, no obstacle. Obstacles, also no obstacle. Hmm. Obstacles, no obstacle. Now I wonder what that means. Look out! There's a whole bunch of obstacles in the road! Oh, now I get it. Well, you heard the customer. Smash them out of the way! Nice work, my friend. Oh, by the way, you might be pleased to know, through all that, you're actually delivering some council plans. For rubbish collection. Everyone at Horizon UK wants a piece of express delivery, and Billy Stokes is just the man to give it to them. There's a big event going down at Bamborough Castle tonight, and we're delivering the drinks. They just want us to drop the stuff off, but this time, I'm adding a few special instructions of my own. Call it, drinks and a show. I'll explain when you get there. Off you go. If you get there quick, I might even let you stop in at the party, maybe schmooze with the... Nah, just pulling your legs, someone has to stay with a van. Showtime! I'll be honest, that van's not an ordinary van. My mate Alfie did a proper number on the suspension. Should run light as a feather on just about anything. Tar, dirt, grass, sand. So, just leave the stuff in the back, head down to the beach, and with all the Horizon punters watching, you're going to mix them up a nice drink. Using nothing but your car. Taking orders then, ladies and gentlemen. What will it be? Shaken or stirred? That's the way. Really whiz them up good and fizzy. Come on, come on! I want to see some corks popping. Perfect. Now we get all the drinks and nibbles dropped off at the castle and then quietly make our exit. Don't worry, I reckon they're going to be talking about that one for a while. So I've been thinking expansion plans. Where we take express delivery next. And I'm thinking, gotta spend money to make money, you know? So I've reinvested. New jackets, new website, new van. Ford Supersport van with a 5.8 litre V8 engine to be precise. Ha <laughs> ha ha, yeah, thought you'd like that bit. And it comes just in time because some cheeky blighters stuck those accelerometer things all over this next package. Checking up on us going fast enough. Let's 
Joe, and we're not afraid of a few poncy stickers, eh? Come on, come on, sharpish! You gotta step on it! for nothing. They didn't write it down, but the special instructions here are bleed and go faster. Whew, made it. Good job. You know, I might need to go get myself a roll of those accelerometer stickers. They were good fun. I could stick one on Alfie. See if he's skiving off work. All right, now we're definitely in the big leagues. Got an anonymous customer who wants a very small package transported very, very carefully. I don't even know what's in it. All I know is they want it fast, they want it discreet, and if we break it, we're on the hook for the cost, which is, you know what? Better if I don't tell you that part. There's your route. Please, please, please watch out for traffic. Take it easy through Ambleside. You can buy half the village with this thing. Maybe it's a Ming vase, or an ancient manuscript. Nah, you can't really break one of those, can you? Nearly there now, come on. What if it's a USB stick with secret government stuff on it? Blimey, I've worried myself now. Thank you. Now get that thing out my van and get out of there before you sneeze and drop it or something. No, I don't want to know what it is. Just get moving. There's my favourite delivery driver. Good to see ya. Got a courier job today. Pretty simple stuff. Customer's a German bloke by the name of Hans. You heard of him? Right, because it says here he works nearby doing insurance or something. Need some files collected and brought down to him. You know what to do. Special instructions say dangerous driving is encouraged for experimental purposes. What kind of insurance does this hand float do, anyhow? Right, you park it and grab those files. I'll give the customer a call. Well, just had a chat with Hans Liebold. Turns out he doesn't sell insurance, he just investigates claims, tests whether they're dodgy. Which I wouldn't know a thing about, of course. Any rate, we've come to a little business arrangement. Hans is doing a survey on what he calls collision avoidance and driver stress response, which sounds to me like a good opportunity for some high-speed advertising. Know what I mean? Hands his way down at the festival. Off you go. Remember, the closer you get to traffic, the more they'll remember who express delivery are.
Post, that's express delivery, ladies and gents. Write it down. Wooshka! <laughs> Do you reckon they got a good look at the van? Remember, Billy Stokes, a name you can trust. And we driver's not bad either. Lovely. That's got hands what he needs, and I reckon I'm about to get a lot of excited calls about the way the express delivery van's been driving. No such thing as bad publicity, eh? <laughs> Blimey, good thing you're here. I'm up to me armpits in jobs. It must be your driving. Express delivery's never been busier, and we've got funny special instructions all over the place. Here, have a look at this one. Deliver unidentified package to the Lakehurst Slate Quarry. Bring a crash helmet and a five-point harness. <laughs> Never ends, does it? Off you go. Oh, I also had the lads down at the auto show put a few extra horses under the hood of the super van. Because the special instructions said to, you know? Just follow the sat-nav. Everything will be ready down at the quarry. I mean, I'm guessing it. Delivered to the middle of an empty quarry. Honestly, some people. And the helmet and the harness. What could that be about? Harness is installed and the helmet's in the back, by the way. It's your size. Right. Better park it and stretch your legs for a bit. What on earth's going on with this customer, I ask ya? Right, got a confession to make. Might have told a bit of a fib about this job and this customer. There is no customer. Well, I mean, there is, but it's me. I just thought you could use a reward, you know? And after all you've done to help Express Delivery get off the ground, so to speak, I figured I could return the favour. Oh, and if there happens to be some cameras around and this stunt brings in some new business, well, that's just a win-win situation, isn't it? you are. I wasn't worried. Good news. I've got a whole batch of express delivery drivers starting next week after seeing you land that jump, so you can have some time off for a bit. It's been a pleasure working with you, mate. I'll be sure to keep in touch. <laughs>